it's um it's hard because I just started my dream job <laughs> um I kind of have hope in me that Congress will pass something um, because if I didn't have hope, I just don't know what I'd do. My name is Melissa. I'm 25 years old. I came to the U.S. when I was four years old and my DACA expires October 2018. I kind of like always knew that I didn't have papers. Growing up, you don't know what that really means. It wasn't until my peers started working that I realized I can't work. Um, and then it's when it sort of like started to sink in. My friends would be like, come work with us, come join the program. And I'd have to tell like little white lies because my parents always told me, you know, don't tell anybody. When DACA was first passed, my mom was very excited for me, you know, like I'm gonna finally be able to work and like contribute and uh, after college I would get a job. Um, but my dad was a little apprehensive because you're giving so much over to the government when your entire life you've been hiding for your safety. If we were to get deported, my brother as a U.S. citizen would remain here in the U.S. I'm a Trinidadian citizen, so I'd have to go to Trinidad with my dad. But my mom is from Guyana, so we'd all be separated. As dreamers and the undocumented community, it's always an uncertainty. You, you don't know what you're going to do. You don't have a plan, really. It's just something we're really used to, and it just really sucks. <laughs> 